I'm just telling you guys how you guys can prepare. Because I'm not gonna lie, this is probably gonna be one of the most expensive dealership that we're gonna be building in Car Dealership Tycoon. Whoa! Guys, that was amazing! But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers! Now, I have a new challenge for you! Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers! So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race, I'll see you in the video! You guys know that there is a brand new motorcycle update coming out in CDT and yesterday also guys we covered that there is going to be a brand new dealership as well guys but before we get started with this video and talk about what you guys should do to prepare for this be sure to smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and don't forget to click that post notification bell now let's get started for this video all right guys you guys already know that the motorcycles that are coming into the game they're gonna be a little bit more different than these cars that are in the game already the closest thing that we could probably uh come up with is this reliable bob car right over here because it's a three wheel uh you know car instead of a four wheel there's really no other cars in here besides the shopping cart that's a little bit different and we also have the uh the small police cop car right over here but you guys can see that most of these cars over here have four wheel and none of them are really two wheel i remember last time in a couple of games guys or uh i believe it was in vehicle legends we did have an egg car that had a two wheel which was kind of close to a uh, helicopter or a motorcycle guys but you guys can see that this eggmobile over here has four wheels so the closest thing we could probably come up with a motorcycle in this game is this bob mobile and you guys know fox is most likely going to be adding a type of race for the motorcycle update guys because it seems like it's going to be a season 7 type of race so it's going to be a little bit more different and on top of that, we're going to be getting a brand new dealership as well. But when you guys see this Bob car right over here, every single time that we turn, it seems like we want to flip over. It's the most unreliable car in the game, but it still kind of works. But how is this motorcycle going to work in the game? Are we going to be tipping over the whole time? Or are we going to be, you know, straight up and going around corners at super high speeds? We'll find out this weekend, guys. But as of right now, let's go ahead and figure out what is going to be brand new with this motorcycle update. So first of all, guys, all the motorcycles, of course, are going to come with two wheels. So it's going to be a little bit more uh, difficult to race around the track. I doubt that we're going to be falling all the time. But if we do hit the ramps and other uh, curves on the road, we might have a possibility of flipping over a lot. So I know that we're probably going to have a type of race where it's going to be strictly motorcycles only which I can't wait to actually see that and then along with the dealership guys you guys know that we actually had a leak of a dealership that was uh, talked about yesterday and you guys saw that it wasn't really showing much it was just showing like the podium and stuff guys and it looks like it's gonna be almost similar to our very very first dealership that we got in the game guys let me go ahead and switch over to that you guys can see this monster jam dealership right over here <laughs> that I have I think it's gonna look exactly just like this with these podiums maybe the podium are gonna be a little bit smaller and usually guys all of these uh, you know dealerships right here they come with at least I think eight cars if I'm not wrong but I believe that uh, we're not gonna be getting eight cars right from the beginning whenever the dealership comes out I don't know how it's gonna look like guys but I know that the podium might still be the same size just because it is going to be motorcycles unless we are able to upgrade it just like how we did in the game and actually maybe even add cars along with it but how do we prepare for this dealership guys because the last time we got a brand new dealership it was the police station dealership and this was really really expensive to build and on top of that we came it came with a helicopter so i don't know if this brand new dealership is going to be coming with something cool like that are we going to be getting a special motorcycle shop along with the brand new motorcycle dealership guys we just have to know soon but you guys 
can see that this uh, police station still has the same exact podium like the normal dealership guys you can see that it hasn't really changed and you can add almost any cars in here if you want to it's not like we're limited to any cars in here you can literally add any car you want and still earn money so don't be scared guys that if you don't have the cars or the money for the dealership you can still put regular cars on the dealership but the issue is the price how much is this dealership going to cost us last time i checked guys this dealership cost us around five to ten million dollars in addition to the helicopter it cost us another uh eight million dollars so this one became super super expensive now i really highly doubt that we're going to be getting another uh you know a helicopter in the game or even a helicopter with the brand new update guys so don't be scared about spending another 20 million dollars on a dealership and at the same time guys it is not a limit limited dealership you can build it any single any time i'm just telling you guys how you guys can prepare because i'm not gonna lie this is probably gonna be one of the most expensive dealership that we're gonna be building in car dealership tycoon and i don't think anybody will be able to afford it and now you're probably wondering t pro why is the motorcycle shop so special well as you guys know that every single dealership that we've had guys it's all different we've had some with you know a police theme we've had some with a helicopter landing pad on it some are square some are octagon and some are just the regular dealerships so there are a lot of types in this game guys but this one i don't know how it could be a little bit different it might just be a different dealership with some motorcycle paintings on the side of it and now we're going to also talk about are any of these motorcycles going to be limited guys and i want to say i believe it is so as you guys know that when we got the brand new uh police uh, dealership you guys can see that we also had a game pass that came along with it which was the police cars uh, pack right over here we also have the supercar pack and we also have the hypercar pack so it seems like that we're gonna be getting another kind of car pack this upcoming update and if you guys know that a couple days ago there was a leak of the kawasaki h2r in the game and a bike like that guys that is one of the fastest bikes in the game i believe that that is going to be another car pass that they're going to be adding in here i know it's going to cost some robux but honestly if you can buy something that is overkill and op i think the h2 is a pretty worth it bike but it also might just be a limited as well it doesn't have to be a uh, game pass that it requires robux it could just be another limited vehicle let's just hope that because not a lot of people are able to get the game pass like that but if it is guys i will be giving away some game passes on my channel so if you guys haven't hit that like button and subscribe i will be giving 10 lucky winners on the very first update and on the live stream guys a game pass if it is but limited guys i think the h2 might just be a limited car or a limited bike and i think that'll be super super cool we might even get a dealership guys that has more cycles on the side of it so it's gonna be for display and maybe at the same time we might even get a different type of elevator on our dealership guys i'm not sure if you know but every single dealership that we have guys has an elevator with it or has a certain lift and you guys can see that this uh police dealership right here guys we do have a elevator as well this one also comes with a jail cell on it too so i don't know what kind of uh you know things that we'll have in the dealership and also this one has weapons in here i'm wondering if we're going to be getting a dealership with uh, a bike helmet and even a racing suit i think something like that would be super cool just to uh change right over here into a racing suit guys so be prepared to spend a lot of money to be honest guys i think this dealership is going to cost us 10 million dollars i know it's super hard to uh get that kind of money in the game so the best way to prepare it guys is just start racing i know you guys probably don't like to race in the game but racing in cdt is probably one of the fastest ways you guys can earn money in the game and get a lot in the shortest amount of time yes you guys can drive around but i believe doing some mini games like over like this playing for 60 minutes or completing 12 laps on a season race you guys can get something like this 
uh, and get some more cash and you guys never know that whenever a brand new season comes out there are some bonus tasks just like that to help you earn some more money so as soon as the update drops guys I believe you should just go ahead and start completing the challenge as fast as you can there might be a chance that there are double XP for the next update maybe not but I believe the following weekend they might have it and you guys know there is also a season pass that comes along with every single season if you guys have not bought the se uh, season pass I will be giving away some season pass on my channel as well so you guys can actually get that and possibly even get some cooler motorcycles along with it because you guys know the season pass is just extra but we might be getting some cool stuff like some dirt bikes maybe even a, a two to hayabusa and at the same time guys we might even get some more kawasaki's or yamaha's bikes in the game i know they're going to be releasing a bunch of bikes in here i don't believe that they're just going to add those two the dirt bike and the h2r i believe they're going to be adding a bunch of bikes in the game they just haven't really released it yet but you know it's going to cost us a lot of money but the good thing is guys the only thing that we might have to spend on is the dealership everything else might just be a season 7 challenge which is the best part and all we probably have to do is race around the track and win and i believe or just even uh, do some laps and i think that's how we'll get a lot of the prizes like the h2r and the dirt bike now i'm wondering is it going to be a street type of race a grass type of race or is it going to be a dirt uh dirt track type of race for the dirt bikes we'll have to see as soon as a trailer comes out guys which i'll also be going over on this upcoming update you guys can see that this season 7 or season 6 update is still uh, available the race is still here even though season 6 is now gone i believe this race right here is gonna disappear as well as soon as season 7 rolls in they usually don't keep this around whenever the next season comes out just like they took out season 5 race with the uh i think the shipyard race and i think they they're gonna take this out completely for the brand new season 7 race but now i'm wondering i don't know why they would even take out a motorcycle race even though this is something new to us i don't think that they're gonna be taking it out i believe they're just gonna be adding a brand new race and then on top of that have a season 7 race on top of it so we might be getting two brand new races instead of one we might be getting a motorcycle race and we might be getting a season 7 race so there is going to be a lot of challenges and a lot of fun in this upcoming update guys you guys have to prepare for it and the best way to do it is just to start racing if you guys don't have any money you guys might not be able to start building your dealership but if you guys have 282 million dollars like i do in this game well it might not be an issue so if you guys want to check out this brand new dealership as soon as it comes out let me know in the comments down below i could probably get some early uh, access for you guys and if i can do that that would make me super happy but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and don't forget to click that post notification bell like i said hopefully the season seven is just completing races around the map or completing some laps with the brand new motorcycles and honestly the most expensive part that's going to be on this brand new update is most likely the limited cars or even the brand new dealership which is going to cost us maybe up to 15 million dollars so thank you guys so much for watching be prepared start racing around motorcycles are coming in less than two days i'm super excited and be sure to click that post notification bell so you guys are notified when i go live and thank you guys so much for watching and peace out